All right, welcome to another podcast. We're gonna get right into it here. Crikey, can you imagine if I just did, did this whole podcast in an Australian accent and just put it out? Never said anything about it. Just here's a new one, guys. Anyway, we're uh, on old deer ride tonight. I got my camera, binoculars. I'm gonna see what we see. Do a little pod. I'm recording with my wireless mic instead of the whole headset. Uh, you guys might remember the podcast I did with Jeremy. We rode around look for deer with the headsets on and everything, which gives you a little better audio quality probably, but uh, a little cumbersome and annoying. And yeah, anyway, if you're listening to this on Spotify or Apple. I uh, appreciate you. Please, if you're on Apple, uh, leave a five-star review. Yeah, so this one I kind of wanted to just, like, discuss, you know, deer season and my plans for the fall and then plans for the, the podcast and the, and the channel throughout the fall. First off, the YouTube channel, editing content, putting out consistent content is going to take priority over the podcast at least just for hunting season my goal is to at least put out two podcasts per month that was what I was on track with before I'd do it bi-weekly and I feel like that's that's kind of I mean even that for the amount of content I'm going to be putting out just filming my life during hunting season literally putting out a video every single chance I get is going to be a lot. I don't even see a doe yet. If you're listening to this podcast, go watch the YouTube video because I'm a little distracted right now staring out in these fields. But uh, we're September 12th right now, so season's a few days away. The deer sometimes in the fields, but there's acorns in the woods, so they're eating acorns right now, but Anyways, yeah, it'll it'll take pl- uh, take priority over the podcast. I got a couple guests lined up. Um, I I kind of hate bothering people during hunting season. I know some people are a lot more available. Others, you know, a lot of people have kids and families, and it's just it's hard to to line stuff up. And but that being said, I got a couple couple in mind. For guests, other ones will be like this, where it's just me yapping, but an editing video and all that stuff takes a bunch of time, and it's 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 a dedication, and it's a lot more stuff to bring into the woods, a lot more stuff to worry about. So, plans for this fall. I only have one real plan, and that's to film Jeremy Valentine's moose hunt uh, first week of October which is coming up quick and he's currently in or in route to Montana he might be in Montana by now I'm not sure but he's got an elk tag in his pocket so he's driving out there to try and fill that and then come back here for around the 20th yeah get ready for the moose season so that's my only real plan but I got a couple goals for the year, and they're manageable, but I'm, I hate saying meat hunter because don't you eat bucks too? Like if you kill a trophy buck, aren't you eating it? So aren't we all meat hunter? I don't know. Anyway, my priority every year is to put meat in the freezer. That's why I started hunting. That's why I hunt. I hunt for food. I love venison. I love sharing it with people. It's, I love the connection you get to your food. I love the, the connection you get to life, life cycle. You know, you take something's life, but it fuels yours and that whole thing. That's my priority. 
And I don't think, even if I <clears throat> become skillful, become, you know, a big buck killer, all these things, I'm never going to not shoot that September 15th doe in New Hampshire. Never going to happen. I'm always going to shoot does, small bucks, whatever, just food. I'm always going to get food. So that being said, I have two goals. One is to kill a decent racked buck in New Hampshire. By decent racked, I mean not a spike horn, not a crotch horn. Something something bigger than what I've killed, which is two spike horns in New Hampshire with my bow. The other goal is to kill a archery doe in Vermont. Now, I say doe because Vermont is a one buck state. Now, I don't want to go shoot a small six pointer or, you know, even a, even a decent six pointer. I don't want to waste my buck tag in case we get tracking snow. I want to have as many tags for tracking as possible because you never know where the snow is going to hit. So I want to have a tag in, you know, New Hampshire, Vermont, I'll buy New York, Maine if I got to, whatever. I plan on chasing the snow. But I haven't killed an archery deer in Vermont since I think 2016 maybe and beyond that is just everything else is cake you know whatever else happens I don't even have a goal of of killing a deer tracking because I mean that's always the goal but you got to wait and see what mother nature brings you know I can't I can't control that I can control the amount of time I can spend bow hunting because I don't need to rely on the snow to go bow hunting. I can go after work every day. So I can set those goals and I mean the, the, the idea of setting a goal for killing a buck tracking is like, yeah, that's the goal every year, but are you gonna get the snow or are you gonna get the shaft? You know, last year we got the shaft. I I did track and uh, I got some in, but I killed one buck on snow. I wasn't tracking him, but I killed a buck on snow. Yeah, the, the idea with the channel this year is just going to be, I'm just going to film as much as I can, put out as much as I can. The ups, the downs, the highs, the lows. Yeah, the mishaps, the whatever. Man, I haven't seen one deer yet. On the way home last night, I saw a dozen. They were all does and fawns, but I saw a dozen deer. So before I, before I took a ride tonight, I was shooting my bow. Everything's dialed in. I have the HHA Tetra Rise which is a two pin sight. And I've been toying around with it, but I've kind of landed on, I'm gonna have my top pin set at 25, the second pin lands at 32. And aiming on a 20 yard, with it at 25, aiming on 20 yards, it, uh it hits just about dead on with it at 25. So, and then 35 and 30 is not that much of a gap. I feel good about that. Like, I mean, 35 yards, I'm probably not shooting past 35 yards in the woods and I've shot them. I'm shooting my broadheads right now, which are the, I'm shooting the, the Magnus Stinger buzz cut. 50 yards is my max shooting distance. And that's only if I'm hunting a field edge or a clear cut. That's in the woods. You can't shoot 50 yards in the woods where I live. That's not happening. You're going to hit something. There's no way, no way. So 
50 yards is my max and my arrows and broadheads are flying perfectly hitting right where I'm aiming at 50. I mean, give or take, I'm not that great of a shot. So it might be a, you know, a group like that at 50, but that's pretty good for me. I've been shooting elevated, you know, working on bending at the hip, I'm still having my proper follow through. I got that new trophy line pack that I haven't figured out a system for. Everything else I know how to do. Like I know how to climb with my saddle. I know where to set the camera up. Everything like that I don't need practice for. I just need to figure out what's gonna go in what pocket, where, how, why, how it's gonna come out. So um, Thursday night, I'm gonna take it out and do a couple up downs. I'm gonna take the pack out as I would hunt, climb the tree, hoist my bow up, set it up, set everything up, then tear it down, climb down the tree, pack it back away, and then do the same thing again. I might do that two or three times to just put it in my head, like, okay, this works, this didn't, this is, this is good, this isn't, and uh, try to get a system down. I already kind of have a system down, but I want to reassure it. And that's basically it, man. We're 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 closing in on it. Um, I'm getting excited for it. I was scouting uh, this past weekend, and I jumped a smaller buck and then a doe and a fawn. They were feeding heavy on cherries. Cherry trees are dropping right now, and deer love those. And they were absolutely destroying them. There's a ton of feeding side around and so I I found my evening spot for Friday night and Saturday we'll see I'm gonna hunt the morning for sure and then I might go ride in the afternoon um, it's getting down to the last few rides of the year and as maybe you've heard me say before I I love dirt bikes about as equally as hunting. Dirt bikes have been in my life longer than hunting. And it's a long season. There's not a lot of riding left. You know, this actually is probably going to be approaching the last ride of the year. <clears throat> At the track, I'm going to use a dirt bike for access to hunt. But as far as like going to the tracks and taking away from hunting, as we get later in October, my focus is gonna shift more to hunting bucks. Fact of the matter is, I know in New Hampshire, we have a great opportunity to, hunt, to kill mature bucks with the September 15th open air, but I literally don't yet possess the knowledge or skill set to pursue them or the drive really, because to me, it's, very overwhelming and confusing and I put this weird pressure on myself that's not necessary and I just feel at this point that you know even if I have pictures of really good ones I should just probably stay in learning mode running trail cameras and try to figure out like what they're doing and then focusing my time mainly on shooting a doe or in this case my deer for at least New Hampshire or my goal for this year at least for New Hampshire is a decent you know two-year-old buck something like that that's will be my biggest rack buck uh, with a bow so and I haven't shot it I haven't shot well I shot a deer I never recovered her that was a nightmare in itself but I I've never shot and recovered a a deer with my, it's not even a new bow now, I bought it in 2021. 20, so that Matthews V3. So mainly focused on that for early season. 
And another thing too I wanted to talk about is I'm not going to hunt my cameras as I have in the past. Basically like, like that cherry spot I was just talking about. My first thought was, I gotta go get a camera and put it in here. No, you don't. I mean, I'm after a doe. And I jumped, <laughs> I jumped a doe and a fawn out of there and there was a small buck in there. So like, why, why go back in there and put a camera there? Like that's been my mentality for years. And I always like, I won't even go into a spot that I don't have a camera. Like I need to get into the idea of not hunting those cameras. Like there's other ways around it. There's I found potentially where those deer are coming from to go feed in those cherries, so it might even be better to, to back up towards that bedding and hunt that run coming out of there, but I'm going to try to not hunt them as much. I'm going to run them. Uh, I'm going to move them around to try to figure, again, this mature buck movement, I'm going to try to figure out because I do have a few good ones on camera, you know, for me to say uh, I, I'm going to go, like, yeah, I, I have no idea, I have no idea. I don't know where, how, and why. I got to figure out a lot more about the way mature bucks move and all that to, to, to chase them. Regardless, I'm going to go out and have fun, you know, try to get that food try to learn something a thing or two hope for snow and gonna be a good season i think so hope everybody hope everybody has fun this year hope everybody's got some goals set and they they reach them i don't really know what the hell i'm doing with these solo podcasts i'm just kind of rambling and i don't know if it's if it's interesting or but let me know in the comments what you might want me to talk about, discuss, whether it's filming related or uh, gear setup related or I don't know, anything. I feel weird asking this to anybody because who am I to give advice at all? I, you know, I'm not a, not a big buck killer. I'm not a, I'm just a doo-doo hunts. But if you got a question for a doo-doo hunts, send it my way. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. The season's upon us. That's exciting.